Live from WFSB, Connecticut's number one local news, this is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 7. Good morning. It's now 7 o'clock. I'm Caitlin Francis. We're following our big stories this morning. Three Hartford police officers are recovering from injuries after fireworks were thrown at them. Officers were responding to reports of a disturbance with a large crowd on Garden and Capon Street Saturday night. When police tried addressing that large crowd, people started throwing those large-scale fireworks at those officers. The Hartford Police Department's working to identify that group. Now this morning, state police are seeking an arrest warrant for those responsible for an attack Saturday night. State police received multiple 911 calls for an incident at a home on Rogers Lake Trail. Police found a woman stabbed in the stomach, a man unconscious with a head wound reportedly caused when he was hit in the head with a shovel. Both victims are expected to recover. Police are asking anyone with information to contact them. The Italian American Service Organization Unico is offering a $5,000 reward for information about those responsible for vandalizing the Christopher Columbus statue in Waterbury. The statue's head was broken off over the weekend. The organization's also seeking donations to repair the monument that sits outside Waterbury City Hall. Several cities and towns have recently removed Columbus statues. Critics say Columbus represents a painful past between the Native Americans and early settlers. A man's recovering this morning after being bitten by a bear in Simsbury over the weekend. Police say that man was walking with his three dogs on the Eddie Loop Trail on McLean Game Refuge yesterday morning. That's when they encountered that bear and police say it went after one of his dogs. The bear happened to bite the dog. It was at that time that the gentleman attempted to intervene to help the dog and was bit in the leg by the bear. Scary stuff there. One of those dogs ran from the scene. A small search party looked for it yesterday afternoon. The dog that was bitten by the bear was taken for surgery. Connecticut DEP says if you see a bear, make your presence known by shouting, waving your arms, or just by walking away very slowly. All right, temperatures are off and running in the low 70s. It is a warm start out there with partly to mostly sunny skies. We did have a little bit of fog earlier this morning in northeast and southeast Connecticut. Hi, everybody. Good morning. It's time to rise and shine, and we are going to see a pretty good amount of shine during the day today. Look at the dew points. They're in the low to mid to upper 60s, which is a little bit humid, especially a 69-degree dew point in New Haven. It was 70 for most of the morning, so it's dropped back one degree, but not a big deal. Uh, it is still quite humid out there. A bit foggy this morning as well. The visibilities are coming up now to five miles of visibility in Groton, six miles of visibility in Willimantic, and you can see nine to ten miles elsewhere, so that sun is really doing its job out there this morning. It is mostly sunny and that's the way it's going to remain during the day today with a chance for late day shower and thunderstorm activity through early this evening. Temperatures will top out in the mid to upper 80s if not close to 90 degrees in central Connecticut. We have to keep an eye on that thermometer. Yesterday it got to 92. We could get to 90 today but I don't think we're going to get to 90 tomorrow because it's going to be a mostly cloudy day with cooler temperatures expected. Scattered shower and thunderstorm activity expected later this afternoon through this evening and here we go with early morning future cast. It is tomorrow's weather today. Shows us an hour by hour depiction of of mostly sunny skies and then right around four or five o'clock we start to dot the landscape with a little bit of shower activity this is 6 30 this evening this is 8 15 tonight maybe a little rumble of thunder in the hartford area tolland enfield that uh, kind of relinquishes control of after a couple of hours and then by midnight tonight we're dealing with just mostly cloudy skies and tomorrow those clouds stick around for good measure we're talking about mostly cloudy skies during the afternoon, maybe a little partial sunshine, and uh, there is the slightest chance for a scattered shower or a thunderstorm, but not a big one. All right, we had some storms roll through parts of uh, northern Boston last night. You can see those 12 hour loop and right over the Cape and the islands, but that weather did not have an impact on us. It stayed to the east of Connecticut, which is uh, pretty good news. We don't need the violent weather, especially overnight. So as we move you through the day ahead today, again, afternoon shower and thunderstorm activity could pop up. Keep your eyes to the skies. If they look threatening, head indoors. And then your seven day forecast includes some big time heat. 80 tomorrow, not too bad tomorrow, but by Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we're talking about 92, 92 and 90. Friday looks interesting as a coastal storm climbs up 
there could be some rain in the state and there could be some heavy rain in the state Friday and Saturday. We're just going to have to wait and see how it all plays out. And it's going to be humid as well with warm temperatures, 90 and 86 for Saturday. And then Sunday, still a chance for showers and thunderstorms with a high in the mid 80s. Here come your shoreline highs. I mean, we're calling for 90 degree heat there on Thursday as well and close to it on Wednesday. So it's going to be a warm forecast right across the board. A great week for the beach. Just keep your eyes to the skies. And if they start to look threatening, you want to head indoors later in the afternoon afternoon. 705 is now the time. We're going to send it back to Caitlin Francis. Kate, good morning. And good morning to you, Scott. We've got some good news for East Hartford residents. Outdoor pools in town will open today, but you're going to notice some changes as new rules are in place to keep everyone safe during the coronavirus pandemic. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eva Zamaris has the latest on what families and swimmers need to know. It's time to make a splash in East Hartford. Outdoor pools will officially open today, but there will be some changes. The Parks and Rec Department has been working closely with local and state agencies to make sure lifeguards and swimmers stay safe as the coronavirus pandemic continues. Here are just some of the rules now in place. Pools will be open to East Hartford residents only. The number of people allowed in their facilities have been reduced to accommodate social distancing. And pools may be closed once they reach capacity. Pool hours have been adjusted for regularly scheduled cleaning and sanitization. Residents must wear face masks or covering when entering or exiting the facilities, using the restrooms, or moving about the deck. They're asking for everyone's understanding and patience as they navigate these new changes and rules. Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Happening today, the Boys and Girls Club of New Haven will reopen its doors. They'll be open for a six-week on-site summer camp for children ages 5 to 14. Leading the club will be retired Yale University Senior Associate Athletic Director Barbara Chesler. Space is limited, so enrollment is determined on a first-come, first-served basis. And good news for families. Lake Compounds is officially back open for the summer, but there are lots of changes there as well. The park is limited to 25% capacity. All guests must wear a face mask, and there will also be temperature checks upon arrival. To ensure guest safety, there will also be sanitizing throughout the day on high-touch surfaces and rides. If you're visiting this summer, you also must reserve your ticket ahead of time online. Thanks so much for tuning in to Eyewitness News. Remember, you can get your news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app. Have a great day.